So have you had odd jobs since you've been to LA, or has mm-hmm. it been it's just been steady work, like we said? It's just been that. That's incredible. It's been great. I mean, there was I'll tell you, there was some dark times when the Sonic went away and both the movies went away at the same time. Right. Everything. It was just like the floor dropped out, and that was right during the writer's strike. Sure. And it was also during the uh, the financial collapse. Oh no! So it was like I was like I don't think I'm equipped for a modern depression. I don't think I can hobo around. <laughs> and it got really bad. It got really. What's bad. the longest length you haven't worked? Because uh, even like an emailing you these last few weeks, it's yeah. like you you're. you're you're working nonstop, it seems like. It's been really, really good. And again, if you had more wood around here, I would be knocking the fingers on <laughs> I it. I know, I'm such an asshole. <laughs> such I keep tempting fingers. You guys should see this. It's all like, it's tempting like Italian it. chrome <laughs> and marble. leather and marble. Um, uh, I don't know. I mean, I think there was, there, there, there was a period where I think there was a stretch of maybe about eight months where I just didn't. Well, wow, that's pretty long. I think. I feel like that. Or either that or that was my perception of it. But after all that, I started to go to therapy because I was like, I got to figure this out. I'm freaking out. And she's like, okay, let's write down how much the, let's look at when you've worked and like the gaps in between. Right. And when I charted it out, I was like, oh, it hasn't been as bad as I thought it would be. So I should, if I still have that journal, I should go back and find it. But (laughs) yeah, it has been really, really really consistent and it's um i'm just i'm so grateful and proud of yeah you know um have you seeked out training at all or was it just improv classes it's all improv i did one class uh in new york um i'm terrified of acting classes (laughs) i keep almost doing them in what way there is a there's something about and this is what kept me from kind of like going diving headfirst into it. There's something about uh, that there's this history and there's this massive kind of uh, collection of people and and I and 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 I mean history of of what an actor is and what right. acting is and what learning the line is and the text and all that <laughs> stuff. Super intimidated by it, and so improv i was like oh i can make this my own and find my way into it right and then i kind of do that approach when i do an audition i was like oh i'm going to kind of improvise the approach on this right. but i'm going to do it with the lines but i think if i had done the thing of like oh no you have to do this in ibsen style or you have to do this you know in whoever's style i i just got really so it's just like the formalness of the discipline of it yeah yeah and and also the people the people really put me <laughs> off <laughs> I had not met a cool actor up to that point. <laughs> they were all just pretentious and annoying. So it was the kind of thing I was like, I, I, it, you know, as much as like I didn't want to, I knew I didn't want to work in an office because I feel like I would have shot myself. Right. I think I had this feeling. I was like, I think I'm going to kill myself if I hang out with these people. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so finding improv was like, oh, they're people the, that they're, get it. Yeah.